Hey there folks and welcome back to Rust. I have been a busy little person off screen and I've been gathering all sorts of materials. Got some chicken breast from our wolves and pigs that we killed. We have some animal fat, some cloth, some leather, a whole bunch of wood, some sulfur, metal, and blood. So what we're going to do this episode is we're going to try to get an established house going. But first things that we're going to do is we are going to craft a furnace. What you use the furnace for is you use the furnace to smelt down sulfur ore and metal ore into just regular sulfur and metal fragments. And metal fragments you can use for all sorts of things. Anything from, from bullets, you can see metal fragments right there, to guns. Let's see here, where is the revolver? Yep. So that's what we're going to do is we're hopefully going to get some guns going and a house going this episode too. So first thing we want the furnace. Oh, don't have enough low grade fuel and low grade fuel so we need 10 low grade fuel and we need two fat and one cloth and I think we have just enough for 10 low grade fuel. So then we'll get the furnace, craft one of them and we'll place it down. It's getting a bit cramped in here, but that'll happen. Here we go. We'll open it up and throw some fuel. We'll split that up. Don't need all of that. Actually, we might. And then we're going to start smelting this. And we have some cloth left over, and I'm going to want to craft some pants because Right now he doesn't have any, and that's kind of unfortunate. Get some pants going. Do we have enough for a vest? We do. Do we have enough for a helmet? We do. All right, we've got all of our cloth armor going on. And as you can see, the effects stack up. So now we have a 33 bullet resistance and melee resistance. We have a 20 explosion resistance and 25 cold resistance. Right now, the only weapon we have right now is our bow. But... Uh, Hopefully we won't be needing it. Let's try to scout out a location for our house. I'm gonna probably want an area with lots of resources and yeah. There's a couple resources down here. Maybe we can make it over here. We'll bring out our bow just in case. There are bound to be animals afoot. Also, since the last game that I played, or rather since last episode, there has been an update to Rust, so they've added a couple of, well, the rocks and stuff have different textures, and also, when you harvest them, they're kind of animated to show how much resources are left in the rocks, or wood piles, accordingly, so that is always nice. And as you can see, I'm kind of crouching. It's just I don't want anybody spotting me. Because anybody else on this server probably has guns. And they will probably shoot on sight. And for our house, we're going to need lots and lots of wood. So I'm going to do most of the harvesting off camera, but just to do a little bit right here. Let's see here. I'm thinking back here would make a good spot for a house. It's pretty flat. I think there's a lot of resources back here, too. All right, after a couple of minutes of running, we came from that direction. Here we are. We're in the what looks like the center of the valley. There's quite a few resources around, so I think I'm going to make a, make a house here. And the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to see what we need to make a house and we'll need some wooden foundations which require eight wooden planks and wooden planks require 10 wood so that's about 80 wood for one foundation wooden pillar that's around 20 wood and we're going to need at least four of those so that's going to be an additional 80 wood so that's 160 wood right there and then we're going to need walls 
which we're gonna need at least three, so that's another 120 wood, plus a doorway, which is another 40 wood, so. And we're probably going to want to put a metal door on, because a wooden door you can break down with a pickaxe, a metal door you cannot. So let's see here, metal door. 200 metal fragments, okay, so that's a lot. It may be a while before we have that much. Oop, there's a wolf, let's see if we can snipe it. Wow, I suck. I really need to get better at this. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Bad. Ooh, that was close. Let's see here. Cloth, chicken breast, blood. So, I think off screen I'm gonna do some wood harvesting because I think you guys would probably find that mundane and boring, but uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll make sure to uh, let you guys see it. See you guys in a bit. Oh crap, got a wolf chasing me. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Gotcha. Alright, I'm a little bit further down the valley this time, and I found a whole bunch of rocks and resources, so I think I'm going to put my house right over here by these rocks. And I've been harvesting wood for some time, and we have quite a bit, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn these into wooden planks. Probably, eh, we're going to need quite a few, so that ought to do it. And, hmm... Should we have a one or two foundation big house? How about two? And then we'll make some pillars. We'll need six pillars. We're only going to do a one-story house. It's our first house. It doesn't have to be that big. And we'll need some walls. We'll need one, two, three, four, five walls. And a doorway. Don't know if I have enough for ceilings. Yes, we do. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. I'm going to need the walls. Now, so this is how you build house. Same thing as uh, how you build shacks, except, as you can see, they'll snap into place if you can put it somewhere. And we'll do that, because that seems easy enough. And make sure you don't put your pillars in the center, because if you put them in the center, you pretty much screwed up your building and you'll have to start over. And there we go. So, where should we put the door? Hmm. How about right here, facing this way, because that's the way we need to go if we want to uh, make it back to our other hut. And yes, there is somebody else's little shack over there. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. So, here we go. We'll put up some walls. And we'll put up the ceiling. There we go. Now we'll need our doorway. And here we are. We have our little shack. It's quite a bit bigger than our little hut over there, hiding in the mountains. And we'll go back there in a little bit because we need to pick up the resources that have been smelting in the furnace. And we'll also pick up our sleeping bag that's in there and we'll bring it over to our house. And hopefully when we get back, the furnace will have about 200 metal in it so we can make our metal door and put it on there and we will have ourselves a completed house. Well, we'll have to furnish it with some wooden crates and maybe a bed or something. But I'll meet you guys back when we're at the hut. All right, we're getting back to our little house and here it is. Let's see how much stuff has smelted in the meantime while we were busy. All right, got a bunch of metal. Got a bunch of sulfur, got some charcoal. We're going to take that out. And we'll pick up our sleeping bag. There's nothing else that we need in there. Let's make sure there's nothing in our fireplace. Uh, we'll take some chicken and some charcoal. 
All right, we're going to leave this place and well, actually maybe I should leave a sleeping bag in here just in case Yeah, we have enough. Uh, we have enough cloth. We can make another one Let's see here I'm gonna place it down. There we go and We have enough we have enough metal so that we can Craft a door in fact. I think we have enough metal. We can make a Revolver in fact Let's go do that right away. We'll make a revolver and then we'll make some bullets for it too. Let's see here. Craft one of those. And as you can see, it's kind of like a homemade revolver, which is kind of cool. You made it out of spare parts and whatnot. But I suppose you would be doing that if uh, you didn't have much. Let's see here. We also want some 9mm ammo. Oh, we need gunpowder for that. And gunpowder requires charcoal and sulfur. And we can make a whole bunch of that. And then... 9mm ammo. Alright. Now we're rocking. Let's reload this thing. Maybe we'll even test it out on some animals. Be back in a bit. All right, there's a bear over there, and uh, let's see how well this gun works. Gotcha. Oops, didn't mean to reload. Bad time for that. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I did reload because we wouldn't have uh, got it in eight shots. Let's see what we get from bears. Three leather, three cloth, and another three leather. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff on bears. Maybe we'll be able to make some leather armor with all the leather that we gathered from the bear. Let's see here. Nah, don't have enough ammunition to waste it. Alright, our house is just that way, so I'll meet you back when we're closer to our house. Alright, home sweet home. Yeah, why don't we check out this uh, this guy's shack over here, see if there's anything in it. Well, sometimes uh, people make these shacks and they abandon them, and yep, this one looks like it's abandoned, so there's probably not going to be anything in it. Nope. These shacks don't decay, unlike houses. If you don't uh, open your door or access a chest in your house over a 48-hour period, your house actually begins to decay and walls start to disappear and so do doors. And eventually, even the pillars and the ceilings and the floors will start to disappear too, but that usually does take a while. I guess that's to keep people from building on servers and then just leaving. Because sometimes people will build over loot spawns and it can be kind of troublesome when they leave. Because then you'll have to have somebody with C4 to blow open the door and... Yeah. Alright, now... We'll make our metal door. We have enough metal for it. 250, so we have 278. Awesome. Metal door. Need a workbench. We'll make another one of those. Here we go. Metal door. And there we go. Now we're all secure. It will take 13 grenades to blow open this door, blow open in a wall, and uh, people will try to get in, no doubt, but for the time being we should be pretty safe. It's not a very big house, so people with grenades and C4 are probably go going to want to save it for a house that has more loot in it than what we have, because we don't really have much at the moment. And let's make some large wooden storage. Um, we'll make two of them ought to be fine. And we'll put our wooden storage right here. Let's see here. We also want a sleeping bag or a bed. What does a bed require? 100 metal fragments. 
Well, I think we can do that if we make some more low-grade fuel. And we'll make another furnace. There we go. And place that down. We have plenty of uh, metal ore and sulfur ore, so we should be able to make that bed. And we'll throw some wood in there as well. And now time for this. Here, we'll stack that there. In fact, we might even have enough blood to make some med kits. There we go. Oh, there's one thing to note is that uh, if you're just starting out, you probably won't be able to make large or small med kits or some of the other things. You have to find blueprints or you have to find the item themselves and use a research kit on them to research them. But uh, this is actually an old character for me, so he has pretty much everything. He can make just about anything, so I've been on this server for a while, so that's why. Now we have some med kits, which is always nice. Here, we'll put that there. We have some animal fat and cloth in case we need more low-grade fuel. We've got some leather. Let's see if we can make some leather armor. How about some... Oh, I can't actually make leather. Huh. I guess I'll have to research that. Well, we'll put that there. Put our gunpowder there. Put our chicken breast and our metal fragments. All right. Well, I think we accomplished a lot this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. So yeah, we have a lot of ammunition now. After dealing our justice to that guy, we have almost 759 <laughs> millimeter rounds. And we do have 755, oh, wow. How many? 759 millimeter rounds, and we do have 755. Five, well, I only got 75 rounds on me. Give me some of that. You <laughs> <laughs> don't need more than 75 rounds on you. I have 76. Ooh, one up. Give it. I want that one round. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> I want it. No. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> it's my bullet! Fine, oh, you Jesus, can keep it. I just made the back. I just I'll made just the end of the video. Foot. No! No! Take it. No! 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 I want your no! no! See those three bullets that you just wasted? You could have just given me one. <laughs> no! No! no. Ah. You look really. No! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, God.